Oh, Todd didn't want to stay in a tent. Oh, okay. I see how it is. No, we're really, really tired from driving. We've been putting down a lot of miles. Yeah, after the windy night last night, uh, we want to try to get a decent night's sleep. Yeah. And, but you uh, can see we're not staying in the nicest of places, but... Hey, hey. doesn't look bad. Yeah. 50 bucks a night. Maybe we can go out to eat. getting to do something we enjoy visiting small towns so when we're in Bartlesville Oklahoma and uh, we're gonna just walk around the town here and see what uh, what they got it's uh, what time is it Lori oh, it's, kinda, um, it's a quarter to seven quarter to seven so it's a little late so I'm not expecting to find a whole lot but at least we'll get outside and walk a little bit okay we're walking around downtown and we found the AT and SF number 940 locomotive. Looks pretty cool. Let's go check it out up close. I don't know if you can see that with the sun glare. This was uh, built in the early 1900s, 1903 or 1901, something like that. This is called a 2102. It has 10 driving wheels on. 10? Yeah, it has two pilot wheels, 10 driving wheels. Do you know how to drive it? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is oil steam though, instead of coal. It's a big oiler in the back. And then the oil was pumped up into the uh, boiler. Amazing. It's crazy. I mean, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. How much iron is sitting there. Oh, it's already getting aboard. It's really nice inside. Yeah? Look at, it. Look at how nice it is. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. Awesome, huh? Yeah, they did a really lovely restoration on this. Yeah. Okay, Bartlesville is a big uh, Phillips Petroleum town. Seems like most of the buildings are, you know, Conical Phillips down here. The buildings are sure nice, huh, Laurie? It's a lovely town. Yeah, it's very, very clean and yeah, here's another Phillips Conical building. And then there's that old other tower right over there is an older Phillips Conical building. Yeah, they really connected everything so nicely together. Yeah, I don't know how long Phillips Conical has been in this town, but it must be a while because everything down here is that. But look at this fountain and everything. Look how nice. Look at the roof, Hal. It's all turned green over time from mm. copper. I like the look of that. Pretty cool, huh? Nice landscaping. Right in downtown. Tinker's Glass House, <clears throat> but they added on to an old building back here that's really cool. <coughs> You choking? <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Let's go around here and check it out. Thanks. They have an upstairs too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's up there. I would imagine more restaurant, but I, I don't know. But it's pretty cool. I mean, very modern inside. You can see it's got an open kitchen and a bar. 
and then uh, over where we walked in, it, it's almost like a to-go counter over there on the other side. So I like how they kept the uh, original brick here and kind of just whitewashed it a little bit yeah. just to clean it up. But they completely remodeled the whole inside. So, so we're gonna see what the food's like. I started eating, so we got um, a variety of different breads with some different dips and French onion soup. Yeah, we wanted to get it in a bread bowl. They ran out. But they ran out, so. But you have like a uh, tomato garlic spread here, a clarified butter, and a oil down at the end there on some ciabatta and things like that. So It's delicious. Yep. Morning. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. It's 6 o'clock at home. Yep, five o'clock here local. Mm -hmm. We're in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Yeah. And today's the what? What's the date today? Friday, April 12th. April 12th. And we have about a thousand miles to go before home. Yeah. We'll see if we make it. I don't know. Yeah. We don't know. We're going to give it a shot though. Okay. We tried to get some uh, coffee or tea at the, at the front desk and uh, I woke the guy up so... He's not, he's not an early riser either. <laughs> so, so we'll stop somewhere and get something. I think we need some gas, don't we? Yep, we got about a quarter of a tank, so. Okay. What are you doing? I'm getting ready to eat my steak and shake. Okay, stomped at steak and shake. Something a little bit different, but not much different. Not much different, but you know, a little bit different scenery while we're trying to drive all these miles. Yes, it's gonna be a long day today. All right, so you'll be fine. Yep. There's the Mississippi River. Well, that thing is moving too. And there's Illinois. So, where did we start out this morning? Kansas? No. Oklahoma. Oklahoma, that's right. We started in Oklahoma. We made it through Missouri. And now we're in Illinois. Were we in Kansas too? We're in Kansas too? Like a little bit. Alright. Oh, look, there's the sign. Making it. Okay, crossing into Indiana here. Lori's awake for this one because there's a Starbucks supposed to be up here and she wants to stop at it. We're about ready to cross into Ohio. How many more miles we got to go before we get home? 249. 249 and it's about 820. Yep. So, of course, we'll stop again before we get there. It's a long day, almost a thousand miles today. So. Yeah, that is a long day. Anyway, here comes the border. So, we just had some random person pull up next to us on the highway to kindly let us know that we have no running lights. The yep. back of the truck is completely black. Yeah, and it's um, 9.30 at night in Ohio. So we got the hazards on on the highway. Somehow, I don't know how yet, uh, the running lights have failed on the trailer. Yeah, there's absolutely no lights on the side. You mean I got on the, the bed. Yeah, on the bed, yeah. yeah. So. I don't know, we're gonna have to check it out tomorrow when we have daylight. Yep, so at least I got the hazards on and you can see the back of the, the truck. So we're gonna have to drive for the next two and a half hours with our hazards blinking. <laughs> Isn't that great? That's awesome. 